Hi, this is Vijay Kumar. In today's session, we will see how to uh, create object libraries. So, what is the use of object libraries and how to create object libraries? So, in uh, D2K, in form module, we create various objects like we create what blocks, we create canvases, and we create alerts and we create parameters, we create pop-up menus, we create different objects, visual attributes, okay. Then, so suppose uh, I want to group these objects into one library. So, related, related uh, alerts, visual attributes, okay. I want to group the objects into one library. I want to pack them into one library. Uh, then, create what object libraries. Okay. I want to group the, I want to pack the uh, related objects into one library, then create object library. So, what is the advantage? What is the advantage is using this object libraries, we can enforce standards. So, in my application, I am creating several forms. In all the forms, I need to follow some same standards. So, uh, then use object library. And next, and another advantage is uh, reusability. Objects can be reused. Like uh, suppose, for example, there is one alert. So, I want that alert in uh, number of forms. I want that same alert in number of forms. So, add that alert to the object library. Once it is added to object library, then it can be added to any form. So, once it is a uh, added to the object library, that alert is added to the object library that can be added to any form. So, another advantage of object library is reusability. So, you want to use same objects across different forms, uh, across multiple forms, then use what object library. Okay. So, let us create object library. So, I am creating object library, select this object library, click create button one object library is created. So, that object library is object lib 1. Okay. Then, so here I am creating some, so in this library tabs, so I want to create one object library. So, to create the object library in a, uh, object navigator, there is an object library is click create button. One object library is created. And this object library contains what uh, tabs, okay? Library tabs. So select one library tab, click create. One tab is created. Next, create another library tab. So I created two tabs, okay? I created uh, two tabs, uh, tab one, tab two. Just I am giving some name to this tab. The name given to this tab is alert. Alert, and the name given to this tab is uh, like say, for example, visual attributes. So, I given, I created one object library to that object library, I added two tabs, one is uh, alerts and another one visual attributes. Now, so then after creating this object library, now let us go to this form module. In this form module, so create one alert, I am creating the alert. So, I alert is created and just go to properties of this alert, set the properties. So, what the name is alert 2 only and alert style is stop, button 1, ok, button 2 is cancel and I do not want any button, third button and what is the message you want to display? Suppose invalid, uh, try again something, I am just uh, setting a message to this alert, invalid try again. So, one alert is created with some properties. Next, I will create one visual attribute, one visual attribute is created. So, let us go to this uh, properties and set the properties. So, visual attribute is V1. Okay. Then, 
So, you set some properties like I want to set uh, like foreground color, uh, background color etcetera. Suppose here uh, foreground color something background color like I have set some properties. So, you, you want any font size like uh, what is the font size I want uh, for example, I want font size to be font uh, name to be Arial and font size to be suppose for example, some 12 etcetera. So, I created one visual attribute I have set some properties. So, what are the properties I set foreground color, background color and font name and font size. Next, so I created two objects in this form module one is alert one is what visual attribute. So, let us add this let us add these objects to the uh, object library. Let us add these objects to the object library. So, this is the object library. This object library is created with two tabs one is alert and another one visual attributes. Just open this tab object library then. So, I am minimizing this. So, this is what then ok. So, here lib tab 1, lib tab 2 ok. So, the names are not changed. Let us change this name let us change this name. So, then go to property palette in this what the label is alert. So, I not change the labels next same thing go to this property palette change this to visual attributes visual attributes then next. So, then open this object library object library. So, just minimize this then. So, add this alert to this object library ok add this alert to the object library just drag this alert drop on to this one alert is added next next one. So, select this visual attribute. So, one alert is added to this object library and it belongs to this tab alert tab. next uh, visual attribute. So, add this visual attribute to this object library to this tab visual attributes tab. So, I added two objects to the object library one is alert and another one visual attribute. Now, so this object library contains two objects. So, one is alert one is visual attribute then next save this object library. So, how to save this go to file select save. So, enter the file name like obj lib lib 6 something. So, obj lib dot olb. So, this object libraries are saved with dot olb, OLB object library like a plsql libraries are saved with dot pll plsql library similarly object libraries are saved with olb and save this. So, that means one library is created and that library is uh, uh, we attach it two objects to that library one is alert one is visual attributes. Now, so next create another form and to that new form you can add these objects to that new form. So, wherever you want these objects you can add these objects to that form like let us see suppose here then I am closing this file this file is closed I am creating a new form module new form new form and a new form is created and in this new form I want that alert and visual attribute. So, whatever the uh, objects added to the library I want that objects in this form module then attach that objects to this form module how. So, open this open this object libraries then so here alert drag this alert drop onto this one alerts. So, it is asking do you want to copy the object or subclass it ok. You want the copy or you want to subclass it that means, you want to inherit or you want to copy. Suppose, I want a copy then click this copy. So, one copy is created. Next one I want this visual attribute I want this visual attribute in this form module then. So, select this visual attribute drag this visual attribute drop onto this visual attribute. So, again it is asking do you want to copy the object or you want to subclass it I want to copy. So, select this copy then visual attribute is added to this tab ok. 
So, this is what like, like a global whatever the objects are added to object library they can access it from any form module they can be added to any form module ok. So, that is all this is what uh, working with object libraries thank you thank you for watching this video. Thank you.